let's talk skating. So today it's cold and crap outside and raining. We're in Cessnock Skate Park and I thought I'd throw this one together, just a quick video on how to jump on roller skates. How to jump and hopefully how to land without falling, because that'll be awesome. So, let's get into it. Um, so you're gonna be looking like waist down today, not my face, which, hey, it's probably a good thing for a change. Um, I kinda need to see my feet and knees. I need to see my face, it's cool. All right, so we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jump on roller skates. Take our skates off. All right, cool, we got our skates in our hands. Yay! We don't need them. Come off the side. We start on our feet so we can get the basics of the jump right because it's it's a little bit like schoolyard jumping but not 100% because we want to focus on the landing as well and the fact we're going to be in motion. Center of gravity, balance, all that jazz, all that fun stuff. When we're jumping, our knees come into play really bad, uh, really importantly, with our center of gravity. So to start off, we're going to load that spring up, we're going to jump, land, nice soft and ease, nice and low. See that nice posture there, center of gravity pointing straight down. We're back like this, we're going to fall over. Leaning forward like that, we're going to fall over. We don't want that, we want to land nice and safe. When you are jumping, if you start your jump from here, you need to land there. Always land lower than what you start off from. If you start from here, jump, land lower. That's where your balance is going to come from, absorbing that shock as you come down and land. Knees are going to bend up like a shock absorber in a car, absorb that force, Keep your balance in the same spot and then softly bring you back up to skate off. Another important thing when you're skating and you want to jump, don't be tempted to jump forwards, okay? Because you're rolling along, you're going in this direction. You want to jump forwards, you jump like that, dig your toe slots into the ground. It's painful, I've done it, it sucks, don't do it. When you're jumping, you want to jump straight up in the air and straight down again. You're already rolling. That's where your forward momentum comes from. As you're rolling along, you jump, and you're gonna land further forward. If you try and jump forward, you're gonna land on your toe stops or overbalance to the front. You're gonna fall, it sucks, it hurts. No one likes to fall like that. So, straight up in the air, knees bent, soft landing. That's the most important thing. So we start off with that, off skates. Load up the spring, jump, land nice and soft. So we're going to get a good practice on that one. Okay, once we start getting to jumping higher, we're going to get down, load up those springs a lot, jump and lift our legs. That takes a bit of practice, don't worry about that for now. If you're jumping that high off the ground, still consider to jump. Enjoy it, make the most of it. That's where everyone started. The first time your wheels come off the ground, that's a jump. Land that, it's a successful jump. Cool. That ends the off skates portion of this video. Time to put them back on. And through the magic of modern technology, skates are back on. Normally this step here, the whole idea of this video today is I wanted to do it outside in the daylight. Last one I did was in my house. Lighting's really crap in my house, and the videos look like crap. So I was gonna go outside and do it. Raining, can't do that. Normally what I go from now, once you get your skates back on, you wanna start practicing that jump. Do it on the carpet, or on the grass at home. Because what you don't want to be doing is rolling back and forwards. You want to be staying still. So when you put your skates back on, start off on the grass, out in the front lawn, your wheels aren't going to roll backwards and forwards on you. So you're just going to be standing there. And then all you have to focus on is bending those knees, jumping up, and landing nice and soft. You're not going to worry about rolling backwards or forwards. Same deal on the carpet, you know, like, you still got to roll a little bit, but a lot less. And hey, it's soft to land on. Ricky Bobby's tips for life. Um, I don't have grass, I don't have carpet here, so I can't show you that step. But it's the same thing, just outside, not inside, or inside, on carpet, not wood. Y you get what I'm getting at here. You understand? Yep, yeah, you're good, cool. So start off, practice on the grass, practice on the carpet. Don't start on concrete. That hurts. They bleed. Right, cool. So, skates on. We're standing on our nice grassy front lawn, or our nice carpeted lounge. We're going to start off nice little. We're going to bend our knees to there. Jump. Just like that. 
Now you'll notice again, put a little load in the spring, pop the spring, land nice and soft. Notice how I'm not rolling backwards or forwards, jumping straight up and down. Right, load the spring, pop, done. Too easy, bro! All right, cool. So once you've got that bit down pat, practice on that as long as you want, because it's gonna make it easier when you start rolling. The more straight up and down you can jump, and the better you can land, heaps easier once you start rolling. Cool. I'm gonna figure out what to do with this camera now so I can get some shots of me rolling doing this. And we'll work on that. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Hey there! We're down nice and low, on the ground now. I'm gonna try and line this up, so I'm gonna start jumping here and land here. Probably not gonna happen, but that's the plan anyway. Let's see how we go. I think we got it. I think we got it. So hopefully there's a few good shots of jumping in there. I chucked a little 180 on the end. I'll cover that in another video. But once you get the basics of a jump up and down, straight up and down done, 180s and that become really simple. It's the same as your transition, just a bit quicker and whoop, whoop, looks cool too. I think that's it. I'm racking my brain trying to think out what else we need to cover, but we've got soft knees, soft knees, soft knees, soft knees. You don't want to make a heap of noise when you're landing. The less noise you're making, the better you're jumping, basically. Um, don't jump forward, really important. Jump up, jump down, let your speed go. If you want to jump further, you need to be going faster into the jump. There's no point getting into the jump and trying to jump forward. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna suck. Don't do that. Experience, I've done it, it sucks, don't do it. Um, practice outside, not rolling, just jump up and down. Practice off skates. On skates, on grass or carpet, start moving on to maybe a timber floor like derby training or something like that. Um, rough concrete, not the best idea because if you land with your wheel in a hole or a rock or something, it's going to trip you up and it sucks. It's not much fun. I honestly can't think of anything more than that. It's That's the basics of it anyway. Um, if there is something I've left out, let me know, drop it in the comments or send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put links for that in the description. Uh, anything else, any tips, anything you want to know about, I need more stuff to make these videos about. Um, they come from your ideas, so let me know, again, message, Facebook, Instagram, leave a comment down below. If you like this and you found it helpful, share it around, share it with all your fresh skaters, share it with whoever you want, and hopefully we can get some more people jumping and doing some wild stuff. Don't forget, there's a few more videos back in the channel as well as the vlog videos. Um, like and subscribe if you like that stuff, if you like them, if they're helpful. Share them around, share the love, share them on Facebook, social media, all the rest of it. But I reckon we'll wrap it up for about that for now. So I will catch you on the next one. Bye!